So we completed CRP1 setups as per the solution document as a functional as a functional consultant we required to do unit testing unit testing nothing but we need to do the each unit or each functionality component for uh, evaluating whether it is working or not let me test it go to journal feel like as a end user feel like as a consultant go to create journal <clears throat> then when you are open the page as a consultant we have to check each field optional mandatory fields default data is populating or not my ledger is populating i open the period period is populating my currency is populating as expected so default values are showing as per standard functional enter test underscore batch test underscore j underscore batch enter material purchased one test case one scenario i take here i can take seeded category let us take purchase invoices go here click here combination you need to check it company us because i assigned legal entity level legal entity assigned to primary let's i will select department default natural account take material account so i don't have the okay let us take freight account Sadish, can you define the segment value quickly? Material account. That should be better. 1410 is there. 14. It is not there, Andy. Yes. Can you define quickly? Okay, sir. <clears throat> Done. Yes, sir. Done. Okay. I selected GL Co. like charge account. Selected brands. Selected services, selected future one, future two. Okay, right. Click OK. So enter 
50,000. Check the precision as per US, it is showing after dot two zeros or not, comma or not. Then enter second combination, company, department. Why it is allowing? You have enabled allow dynamic insert option at structure instance level. It is allowing to do the any code combination dynamically while doing the data entry. That you should remember as a functional consultant. 50,000. Just check it. Amount populating. Save the record. Verify your batch name is appearing or not. It is reading or not. Check the remaining values. Check the amounts again. Check the unposted status, incomplete, then complete. Clear? Then go to show more, verify control total, updated or not, because unit testing, action log, <coughs> status is updated or not. Go to show more. Check the control total. Check the sequencing. Satish, you did not do the sequencing. Only. That is the reason. Client requested us to do the document sequence number, voucher number, but you did not do. Then we'll go and define it. That is the reason we need to verify each setup before testing as per requirement RD20 as per as is. Save the record. Then check the last saved one. Then batch action, copy, delete, print, click post. When you click the post option, program submitted automatically. You need to verify program. Okay. The status should be selected for posting complete. Then refresh it. Processing still. Processing still. Right. Right. So go to scheduled process tools, scheduled process. Verify post journals for single ledger showing paused option. Paused option. Let me check the status. We have to be tested and with the patients. Now succeeded. So system taking more time as expected. You need to check it that we can call for performance testing. Go to journal. Check here manage journal. Search it. Now you can able to see posted status. They have to be understood. Okay. Each activity complete. So once posted, you are inquiring the journal through manage verify whether you are eligible to override or not, all information populating or not. 
actions you can see are not at, as a standard functionality. You have to be verified. This is the way you need to test as a unit testing, like a general creation, supplier creation, invoice creation in AP, single payment creation. So module wise, we can do test AP, supplier creation, invoice creation, payment creation. Here, customer creation, invoice creation, receipt creation. So each functionality we need to test and confirm whether it is working or not before providing the training to the business users. If you feel or if you face any issue, issues, errors, you can re-verify the setups, functionality related setups, you can re-verify, recheck. If you are not fixing the issue, you, are, you can create the service request to Oracle company, they will fix the issues also. So we need to track every information while testing of the CRP1 or any training section before. Thank you.